Today, we're gonna to talk about high angle shooting. It's a simple concept. All you gotta do is small amounts of math, right? But what I wanna talk about is one, how it works, and two, multiple methods that you can use to calculate what you should be dialing for, all right? So, in all high angle situations, what we are looking to achieve is what is the flat line distance that our bullet will be traveling. Whether we are here, and we are shooting down, or we are here, we are shooting up. The concept is the same. So, based off of our angle of degrees, we need to determine what our flat line distance is. If we were to bring our shooter down here, or if this is us, bring us up here, what would that straight line distance be where gravity is pulling down the projectile? So the way that we do this is by understanding what our angle to the target is. From true horizontal line, aiming down, are we at a 10, 15, 20 degree angle? And how does that relate to what the flat line distance would be? So if you look at the cosine chart, all right? You've got your angles here, 5, 10, 15. Notice that the relative cosine for each one of these angles at five, five degrees, you've got 0.99. So I want you to look at your cosines as a percentage, right? Anytime we're trying to find a percentage to a specific number, we always multiply by a decimal. Well, it's no different here, right? Because if we were to bring our trajectory down, it would be much further than our flat line distance. So we are taking a percentage of our actual trajectory flight for our flat line distance. So if we have five degree angle, it's 0.99, or 99% of your distance would be your flat line distance, and that's what you would dial for. That's not a big number, right? Same thing, we look at 10 degrees, 0.98, so 98%. Again, it's not a huge number. So anything less than 10 degrees, we really don't need to factor anything for, unless you're taking an extremely long shot, maybe 1,000 yards, maybe 1,200, right? Where 2% is actually gonna matter. But if you're taking a three or 400 yard shot, 2%, you're dealing with eight yards, right? So it's not a huge number that we would have to factor in. We get to 15, right? 15 degree angle, 0.96, now we're in that 4% range, and you can see where it starts to increase by larger numbers, right? So anything after 15 is typically where we want to start to factor in how that angle is affecting our flat line distance, right? So relative cosines, again, think of those as percentages. 1%, 2%, 4%, 7%, 10 14 19 right? 19%. Now, how precise do we need to be with this? Well, if you look at 19%, you say, what if I do 20%? Let's think about that. 400 yard shot. And instead of doing 19%, you're like, I'm gonna round up to 20. Because 20 is easier to calculate in my head. So what's 1%? You have 1% margin of error at 400 yards. It's only four yards. You're still making that shot, point of aim, point of impact, right? So you'll be okay fudging these numbers that make the math a little bit easier for you. Now, how do we find the angle to the target? Well, what methods do you have to use? They are, you can buy tools such as protractors, right? If you use a protractor, you're looking at using that protractor to horizontally aim and look at what the angle to the target is. You have cosine indicators, you have slope dopers. Go on slopedoper.com, you can buy a slope doper. All right, US Tactical Supply sells them. Cosine indicators, made by Badger Ordnance and a few other companies. Same thing, US Tactical Supply sells them. And now you'll be able to aim at your target and see what the cosine is. You would never need to know what the actual angle to the target is, right? But you still have math to do is why I'm telling you, if your cosine indicator is reading 0.86, and you gotta sit there and try to figure out what 14% of something is, why don't you make it easy on yourself and go 15%, 15%, 15%, 15%, 15%, 15%, 15%, 15%, 15%, 15%, 15%, 15%, 15%, 15%, 15%, 15%, 15%, 15%, 15%, 15%, 15
you'll be fine with that 1% margin of error. Now, again, just to reiterate, our projectile is actually traveling whatever that distance is. Let's call it 400 yards. We have a 35 degree angle. So we come over here, 35 degrees is 0.81. I'm gonna round up to 20%. Well, I know that 10% of 400 is 40. So 20% is gonna be 80. So 400 yards minus 80 for my 35 degree angle, that puts my flat line distance at 320 yards. That is what I'm dialing or holding. Dial on my scope or hold on my reticle to engage that target. But I am still gonna call wind for 400 yards because the bullet is still traveling 400 yards. It is still being influenced and drifted by the wind for 400 yards. But it's only being affected on a linear horizontal plane for 320. Okay? So, <laughs> how can we make this easier? It's easy, right? We have those tools that we talked about, but we also have things such as our phone. Everybody's got a phone with them today. And your phone has an angle indicator built into it. So if you have nothing else but your phone, you can utilize your phone to get you the angle. But then you would have to memorize all of these numbers, right? Wrong. I'll be right back, I'm gonna change some things up, and then I'm gonna teach you about the rule of 15. And we're back. So I've added the rule of 15. And the reason that this method is so simple we're still trying to determine what that flat line distance is, but now all we need to know is the angle to the target. So if you have a cheat sheet, a little piece of paper that's got angle marks on it, you hold the paper up, you look down at your target, you figure what that angle is based off your markings. On the side of your rifle, you've got angled lines drawn. So you point your rifle horizontal, you look down at the target, you see what that rough angle is, to help you determine that angle. Right? All you need is the degrees to the target. Same thing, you can use your phone. Your phone can now act as point down at the target. What does your phone say that angle is? It says 20 degrees, right? Well, we call it the rule of 15 because we developed this a couple years ago where all you need to do is subtract 15 from the angle. So here we go. Angle to the target, let's say 30 degrees, minus 15. 30 minus 15 is 15%. So if you look at 30, look at the cosine. It's actually 14%. We are going 15% to make the math easy. And that's it. You take 15% from your range, and now you have your flatline distance, or the distance that you will dial on your scope or hold on your reticle to engage that target. This works all the way out to 60 degrees with a one to two percent margin of error, which is well inside the margin of error to engage targets with precision or accuracy, whatever your flavor is, whether it's a hunting, military, law enforcement application, or it's a precision rifle competition. The effects are the same. Notice that five, 10, 15 degrees are X'd out, right? Because rule of 15, if you subtract 15 from 15, you get zero. Right, because the cosines are such a relatively small number, it doesn't matter unless we have far distances that we're dealing with. And in that case, you should be using cosines anyway for a more precise and accurate measure, okay? But inside six or 700 yards, we are dealing with 1% margin of error here. So it's 700 yards, 1% seven yards. You'll be okay. You're still gonna hit the target. Right? So, rule of 15 is very simple. Angle to the target. Angle to the target. Minus 15 gives you the percentage off your distance. And that's what you will dial for. Okay? So I hope that this lesson helps you guys with any type of high angle scenarios that you get involved with. And again, whether you are shooting down or you are shooting up, the math is the same. Now, there are some books, there are some publications out there that will tell you there is a small difference 
between shooting down and shooting up. Yes, I'm not gonna lie to you, small difference. Have I mentioned it this entire time? No, because it's not worth calculating. We wanna keep our shit simple. We wanna keep our math, we wanna keep everything as simple as possible so that you, out in the field, the end user, has something that is quick and easy to reference to get that shot on target. Until next time, I appreciate you guys watching our videos. I hope this helps you. And if you've got any questions, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, hit us up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, any of those. We will try to reach back out to you as soon as possible. You can email info at maxornit.com. We'll also take any questions, help you guys out in any way that we can. So appreciate you guys following, listening, all that good stuff. Until next time, this is Tyler, and I'll catch you guys later. If you want to be great, you want to be the baddest motherfucker ever at what you do, you're going to be misunderstood by everybody because you're going to be so fucking obsessed and so driven to get there. That's what it takes.